Chase Griffith, Grifoto.com. Today we're going to talk about color compensation whenever you have an oversaturation of a color. All right, so here we are. Uh, I went to the Wizard of Oz rehearsals yesterday and took some shots. It's a theater showing uh, play that they're doing out here in Nikiski. And uh, those settings are typically really dark. I had to get on my comfort zone with ISOs, pushing 6,400. I even shot a little bit at 12,800. I don't know if I've ever actually shot that high before, but uh, we're gonna look through some of these. And actually, they didn't look too bad. So let's open up Lightroom here. So I do all my photo editing in. So as you can see, this photo right here is, I would consider it un completely unusable so much saturation of red so first of all i see it's a little bit of a dutch angle dutch angles in my opinion are never ever okay let's get the dutch angle get get that out of there so an easy fix for color saturation black and white the difference there so From that to that, <clears throat> and I also over here tweaked a little bit of the highlights, brought those down, shadows pumped them up, just to kind of help. I shot this one at 6400 at 2.8, so yeah, it went from a completely unusable photo to a decent, decent photo that I could use. So here's another one, as you can see, it's red. It's not over, over too bad red. You could fix this, you gotta shoot raw, and you'll be able to take the white balance and bring it down and get rid of some of that red. See, you're pushing that more into the blue. So, go from that to that. All I did was change the white balance. It's a great way to fix color saturation by just switching it to black and white. So, following is gonna be a little slideshow of photos I took at the rehearsal. Thanks for watching.